Alright guys, it is day two now, so it's the next day. I'm detecting around the house now, I just popped out this thimble. It's crushed. It's made out of aluminum or something like that. Pretty cool, my second one. And I had trouble pinpointing it, because this was right next to it. I have no idea what that is. So they were like in this area. So when I pinpointed, there, it had a signal like right here, so I dug like a big plug right here. Okay, I thought it would be something big. But it wasn't. It turned out to be that thimble and this little piece of iron or something. No idea where it's off of. But I'm going to detect over here. We haven't really detected over here because there's just a ton of can slaw. So I'm digging all the can slaw, getting it out of here, and um, finding cool relics like thimbles or a thimble. Awesome. We'll keep searching. Alright guys, we're detecting where I found the license plate and where we detected last night. And I just found the first coin. And I've already looked at it as a wheat penny. It's a wheat penny, but the front's all um, mudded up. So uh, I don't know if I'll clean it right now. I'll clean it back at the house and then I'll keep you guys updated on the date. But that is awesome. Alright guys, I the dirt actually surprisingly came off pretty good. I can see the date. It's a 1919 wheat penny. That's my oldest wheat penny I've ever found. It actually beats my oldest by a year. I don't know if I see a mint mark, but that is really cool. And I can see the green patina. That is an awesome find. There's probably some more around, maybe even some silver. All right, guys, I just got a slamming signal right here. And look what's in the hole. So I just popped out, and it's heavy, guys. What on earth is that? I don't know. Holy smokes. No, it's not, it's not that heavy. Well, let me just... Token? Ooh. Oh, that is really cool. Oh, is it a watch it's face? A, it's a pocket watch face. You can see the numbers. But I don't know what's up with the back of it. Oh, I, yeah, I, I think so, but look at the back. Hmm, D does it have like letters on the back? Yeah, it's got, I don't know, some sort of pattern. Oh, it says something at the top. Cool. That's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, I just got a really good signal. It's down here. I would say, let's use the pinpoint right here about six inches deep and look what I just found it's I believe what is that oh, some porcelain, porcelain. Found in my hole. oh yeah piece of pottery but I just found this and I see San Jose up here but I see a bunch of other writing you can see there I believe it's a buckle or something else pretty interesting and I'm gonna go I'm actually going to clean that up later and hopefully it doesn't fall apart, but pretty interesting find. It's a mystery. Here's a pretty cool find square nail just found. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty sunny out here, but it says registered 1921 chat something as a number and it says California. It's Chapter? really cool. Yeah, something like that. I'll have to research it. Pretty cool find. Thanks. <laughs> I love those. Like, I just love finding stuff with dates and tags and stuff. Wait, when does it, where does it, 1921. Wow. Pretty Let's old. keep going. All right, guys, here are our finds for this hunt. It was about two hours, and once that sun came out, we were, you know, fried. So we mainly detected in the shade because the sun, getting to the areas where the sun is, and bending down and digging a hole is like, I know, no. It was really hot, so, but we winded up with some pretty interesting finds. So, um, I'll do uh, Square Nails finds first. Up here, he's got an awesome file. I've never found a complete file before. I found like little pieces off of like the blade, but that's a pretty cool piece. It would have had wooden handle. He did find a rifle casing, an awesome wedge. You can see it's not an axe head, it's a wedge for splitting rounds. And that was the first ever wedge we've ever found. A couple of nice horseshoes. They're, you know, you can see the tacks are still in there. They could have been for like a mule or a horse or whatever. And he did find one of the coolest finds of the day. 
the registered 1921 shaft I, I forgot that word's kind of hard to say but it says California below and it it was about a week ago when we did this hunt and um, we actually did have a metal detecting club meeting and he won first place in um, in the best uh, relic with that with this <laughs> with this awesome relic I've never seen anything like it I guess that word right there is like a person who's like a taxi driver or something I, I don't know like what it is fully but that's a really interesting find it will display really nice over here I have some finds too um I did find this I believe it's a bell you can see in there it will have had two clappers or dingers or whatever they're called and yeah it's pretty interesting you can see the handle will have been like an iron handle or wooden handle or, or whatever it was stuck stuck an hour there pretty interesting find but I did find this. At first, I thought it was a drawer pull. You could see it's pretty fancy, but it's made out of like pot metal and like a drawer handle for it from like a dresser or something like that. But it doesn't look like there would have been a place for it, the hand to go. So, my next thought is it could be a lid. It would have been like a fancy lid. And you could see there's the hinge right there. It would have opened up and yeah. I thought it was a rock you could see right there. I scratched it because I didn't think it was metal, and then I realized my pro pointer room was um, going off on it, and I realized that was the target. I did find this. I think this is pretty interesting. I think this is a lead ingot that they would melt down into make musket balls or whatever. And on the bottom here, you could see part of a word there. But of course, this would have been longer, and you can see the whole word. But that's pretty interesting. My first one of them. I did find this pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we bring it into the light here. Over here, you can see it says San Jose above there, and right here it says in the Valley of Hearts Delight, and it says Santa Clara County. I have no idea what this is. It could have been a buckle. You can see there's a house up or a building up there could have been like the state capital or something like that and you there was this at first when I saw this I thought it could have been a pin but then there's this like where there have been a like piece of leather that goes through it's still a mystery but it's a really cool find it'll display really good right here this is a really awesome find too um I believe this is a decoder coin um I took this to our metal detecting club and one guy there said that this could be a decoder coin, and it's pretty cool. You could see, it's kind of hard to explain, but you could see numbers there. It says AM. And when I washed it a little bit, a little bit of gold gilt came out. So um, this used to be gold gilted at one time. It's pretty old. It's pretty thin. I thought I had like a British copper or something like that, or um, a large penny or whatever. Like a British large penny whore. I did find one rifle casing and I found the first old coin there. This is a 1919S, which means it was made in San Francisco. And I was pretty happy to find it. Pretty cool find. Alright, guys, that's all of our finds for this part two of our trip to uh, California. There will not be a part three, but hopefully we can go down there soon and. Scope out some new sites where we can find cool stuff like this. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have not joined the Sterling Squad, you can press subscribe and get I and get notified if you press that bell next to it. I post every single Tuesday and I hope you guys like this and we will see you guys next week.